day. Good day, can you hear me? Well, I hope that your ears are working better than your tongue, so that you might use them to listen to my words. You have turned on the light at the end, beginning and middle of the tunnel, but some things remain shrouded in darkness. My emergency message I hope has helped, but what you need now is to the wall hole to the right of the fence. Oh, go now, there is no time to explain. Well, in fact, time is one of the few things we have in abundance down here. What well, surprises are spoiled by such catty curiosity. My memory is like something with a great many small holes. We shall be needing to perform some minor demolition work so that we might one day meet again. For this task, we shall require the use of a large, earth-eating metal monster. And that monster is thirsty for juice from the place where things are kept. By the way, you can call me Red. It's not my name, you understand, but, but I am sure you will agree. It's a name rather similar to a cardigan. Fetching when worn correctly.
Those holes in my mind are increasingly gaping. You cannot breach the inner sanctum of the place of storing it. The entryway is blocked. So what if the squashy material between my ears is squashier than most? I may not be perfect like a hanging picture, but my words are wise and backed up by time. A pox! A pox on both your brain cells! Try as I may, you must think that I deceive you with my infittingly cunning ways. As far as my eye has seen, our rocky grave extends, and yet you cast away my hope like you would a puppy, freshly ruled in its own feces. I hope that your warped sense of morality is better company than I, because now it is all you have left. Sorry. Sometimes my emotions are like a disobedient pet. Uncontrollable and often rolling in shit. Better safe than sorry, they say. But I think we are both sorrier than we are safe. A tunnel lies between a nearby watery cave and the place where things are kept. 